But when you look at the one thing that would prove the globe Earth. You have probably seen this image, other known as the blue marble, hundreds, if not thousands of times. It was taken almost 50 years ago, during the Apollo 17 mission, yet, it is the only picture of the whole round Earth that was snapped by a human being. In order to see Earth as a globe, you have to be at least 32,000 kilometers away from it, and only 24 humans have ever gone that far into outer space. They were the crews of nine Apollo missions between 1968 and 1972. But only three astronauts saw Earth as a perfectly round globe, since you have to be in a perfect position between Earth and the Sun. Blue marble phenomenon affecting people all over the world, in every country, in every part of the world. Blue marble refers to the iconic image of the Earth in the first photograph of the whole complete Earth, cloudless, taken in the Apollo mission in 1972. The image you have of where you live. Is this the place you believe you are? If it is, I hope you take a closer look and see what it is you are looking at. One of NASA's most requested space photos, this view of Earth known as the Blue Marble was taken in 1972 from about 18,000 miles away as Apollo 17 was traveling to the moon. So I ran across this in a 2019 National Geographic. And this is where they show us that we live. For many years I looked at this here and just saw the blue marble. I saw what they told me to see. Then you start questioning things and you start looking into all the images you have. You find out about Ron Simmons. Then you try to find something that's not Ron Simmons. And it brings you back to this picture here. And it's really crazy. Because now I see this as a piece of art. How do I do this? Um guess I could try to explain to you five little Easter eggs. It's really much deeper than that. But these five seem to jump out. Start with what I'll call the magician. Or Mickey and Fantasia. But here's his head. Got two arms. You've got a bit of magic running in between. And the body. That's pretty interesting to me. Little, little fuzzy, I guess. I guess. But it is what it is, I guess. And I've kept looking. Just a curious thing, looking around this thing. Then I run across this little guy right here. There's a mouth, even a nose, an eyeball, two ears, even got the shape of the head. Looks like a rabbit to me. Actually looks like that scared rabbit run across the avalanche. Another avalanche breaks loose in Russia's Kamchatka Peninsula. The snowboarder glides to safety, but the cameraman sees something else. Oh my god, that rabbit survives. I'm not betting on a rabbit when I see him go into that 
you are looking at tons and tons of snow that is sliding down the mountain at speeds of probably 40 to 50 miles an hour. He is moving out of it, he's staying on top, and yes, he's able to clear the avalanche. It has to do with that great, great jumping ability of the rabbit. I give that a 10. He gets a 10. What's really cool about that rabbit is he can just hop along the top of that avalanche. This is what you're supposed to do if you're in an avalanche. The rabbit had the right idea. You know, you swim through it. You kick your arms and your legs and try to stay on top. Talk about the look of a rabbit's foot. Now you know what. So you pull back and you're looking at this thing. You've done seen these two things. And then this guy jumps out at you. Come on, camera. Right there. A hand, an arm. What's this, a top coat? What did you see? Right in there. Face with a mustache. Could it be that man, Hitler? pretty extreme you know they put Pluto in, Pl uh, in Pluto right <laughs> then you notice an eyeball here even a shot eye here maybe because now you have a nose a mouth even got chin, even got hair. Does that look like Chewy? A wild man? A Bigfoot? <laughs> and then you sit back here, and now you got three, four. And then this guy pops out at you right here. Starts with his mouth. Going down to his chin. Is that an ear? And that's where his eye would be. Nose. Looks like he's wearing a headpiece. He even got a horned head. Imagine that. Just want you to take a minute here with me. And I'm going to move around this thing a little bit. See if you can see the things I see. See if any of them jump out at you. This is really an interesting picture. I think anyways. Because the more you delve into it. The more there is. I'm telling you. That a guy there. Kind of looked like King Kong or something to me. Or is this Esau and Nimrod? With some extras added in just because they could. I don't know. I guess I'm going to leave it there. See if I even post this.
illusion will be created so vast, so large that it escapes their perception. Those who see it will be thought of as insane, 